Meet Smart Shooter Smash, a set of systems built to take down drones and small ground targets. These systems include a radar and a mount for various weapons. The radar can track targets up to about 25 kilometers away. The mounts are perfect fit for a 7.62mm rifle, and there are plans for a version that works with light machine guns in the future. When the command is given, Smart Shooter Smash goes into action, attacking the targets. If there are many targets, it helps to prioritize them. Plus, it's compact and easy to mount on a regular pickup truck. The Spartan system plays a crucial role in training and assessing troop effectiveness. It's versatile, simulating different scenarios to evaluate both soldiers and commanders. Ideal for battalion-level operations, Spartan brings realism with weapon simulators based on actual arms. Beyond that, it evaluates intelligence and logistics capabilities. Need it for vehicle crew training? Spartan can be customized. With built-in missions from convoy escort to territory patrolling, it handles imbalanced force scenarios well, thanks to artificial intelligence algorithms. Fibrotex Technologies provides camouflage for various vehicles. From Sandcat armored vehicles to Leopard 2 tanks, the camouflage not only lowers thermal, IR, and UV radiation, but also prevents hull heating in the sun, enhancing crew comfort. It's flame retardant and water repellent, preserving equipment performance. The double-sided design makes quick camouflage much simpler. Alaska Defense stands out as the go-to military tent supplier, having delivered over 36,000 tent structures to 85 countries. This company has collaborated with all US military branches and NATO allies, and its products are a reliable choice. These tents are versatile, allowing you to use them as kitchens, hospitals, or even airplane hangars, with limitless length possibilities and a maximum width of 46 meters. MDSC Systems offers a similar product, the Modular Mobile Hospital Golden Hour MMH. Modules include operating rooms, ICUs, sterilization rooms, and dentistry, all fitting into standard 6-meter containers for delivery. Remarkably, deploying one module takes just 20 minutes. Check out this shooter using the HK416 rifle with a nifty upgrade. The rifle sports a casting a brass catcher, and the upgrade's purpose is evident. Castinger gathers spent cases in a bag, saving the shooter from the task. Holding up to 30 cases, it features a zipper for easy emptying. The upper parts of the catcher also redirects some of the gases produced during firing. Manufacturers note that casting suits left-handed shooters without compromising accuracy. It's conveniently mounted on the Picatinny rail.
Retriever 30 crews can quickly respond during various rescue operations. This recovery vehicle is handy for tasks like pulling out stock vehicles, loading and unloading, and various engineering works. From cars to infantry fighting vehicles, Retriever 30 can handle pulling or loading nearly anything. It features a winch with a 25-ton pulling capacity and a crane that can lift 30 tons. Manned by a crew of two, the cabin is designed for five people, leaving three empty seats for the crew of the vehicle being rescued. Additionally, Trever 30 is equipped with a dozer blade in the front and a hydraulic fork in the rear. The 4030 Elite goes beyond being just a bomb suit. It's a scalable system tailored to each user. Communication and cooling systems can be seamlessly integrated, and the user can independently remove certain armored elements, which is especially beneficial in tight spaces. Offering protection against flame, shrapnel, overpressure, and shockwave recoil, the suit includes built-in spinal protection. In case of emergencies, the user can exit the suit in just 30 seconds. The creators of the Hattori X system revamped their approach to target designation systems, opting for GPS instead of traditional lasers. This change makes it challenging to track down the Hattori X operator, so they can detect and observe targets while maintaining fire effectiveness within a range of 5 to 10 kilometers, depending on the version. It's user-friendly, with developers stating that anyone capable of using maps on a smartphone can easily operate it. If you spot a target on the Hattori X screen, a simple tap reveals its exact coordinates. According to the official website, the development of this tech marvel known as Copter Pack is still ongoing, which is really surprising. It runs on electricity and has been called a backpack with propellers, a helicopter backpack, a helicopter drone, or a jetpack. Designed for one person, it features two rotors with a diameter of about 90 centimeters. Designers share occasional successful test videos, but are slow to reveal technical details. Expert opinions suggest staying below 15 meters high when using it. Check out this unique vehicle designed specifically for military divers. It looks like a torpedo and runs on electricity. It can transport two divers up to 18.5 kilometers and has ample space for equipment in the hull. With a maximum diving depth of 24 meters, it cruises underwater at 5.5 kilometers per hour and reaches 7.4 kilometers per hour above water. Thanks to the SYNC system, operators get real-time data, such as the group's location. This versatile vehicle has various applications, from territorial waters exploration to patrolling. Founded back in 1940, Form Trackway started by repairing seaplanes, but has since shifted its focus. They now offer the M30H panels, used to build temporary roads for tracked vehicles. It takes about 22 hours to lay a kilometer of 12-meter-wide road. 
These panels are ready for use in running water and wetlands, supporting loads up to 30 tons. They remain reliable in temperatures ranging from 60 to minus 40 degrees Celsius. The LRAD system, initially crafted for the US military, has proven so successful that it's now being used by the police. This versatile tool can send messages, sound alarms, and disperse riots, which explains its widespread use. It was spotted at the G20 summit on the Seaborne Spirit cruise ship. And the 2010 Winter Olympics, the LRAD 2000 RX version packs a punch at 160 decibels. Operators can adjust the sound attack range from 30 to 360 degrees, and it boasts a signal transmission range of approximately 9 kilometers, crucial for military applications. Someday, patrol vehicle fleets might see an update like this. Recently spotted on Art Station, this unique concept has caught our attention. However, there's already an actual vehicle ready for patrolling territories, the Nima Ajban LRSOV. With a range of 700 kilometers, it provides space for ammunition and equipment in the rear. The suggested armament includes a 30mm automatic grenade launcher, along with machine guns of 12.7 and 7.62mm caliber. What are your thoughts on fitting this vehicle with airless tires like these? The creators of Moeri aims to create an affordable yet versatile airplane. Let's see the outcome. They nailed the affordability, with an hour of Moeri flight costing only $1,000, a stark contrast to the F-35's $42,000. As for versatility, the Moeri serves as a surveillance, reconnaissance, and attack aircraft, boasting a range of 2,130 kilometers. It can carry an operational load of up to 800 kilograms. However, Moeri's ceiling is limited to about 6 kilometers, leaving the question of what to do if the enemy has man pads unanswered. To round off today's selection, let's talk about Spear EW. This missile is used for electronic warfare, essentially jamming enemy air defense systems and safeguarding against enemy drones. Thanks to advanced equipment, Spear EW operators can both interfere and create decoys. Each missile weighs around 100 kilograms and by leveraging the airframe from the Spear cruise missile, development costs for Spear EW have been minimized. <laughs>